Hi and welcome to McTish. In this video I'm going to take you through some of the features of the Content Manager SharePoint integration, focusing mainly on what the end user would do. But before we start, I wanted to quickly take you through the four core actions that are involved with the integration and they are Manage, Finalize, Relocate and Archive. Manage. When a document is managed, it comes under the control of Content Manager. This results in a stub being created in Content Manager, which represents the document and its metadata only. That electronic file remains in the SharePoint document library, and as a result, there is full collaboration still available on that SharePoint document in the library. Next is Finalize. The SharePoint document comes under the control of Content Manager and is finalized, that is, it's read-only, and this preserves the state of that SharePoint document using Content Manager. The record is final and the edit status on that document in Content Manager will display as finalized. The stub is created in Content Manager which is representing the metadata only, but the electronic file does remain in the SharePoint document library, so it is still available to be used via SharePoint. Relocate. Now what Relocate does is first it will manage the document to create that stub of the metadata in Content Manager. Once that has been done, it will automatically then go and remove the SharePoint document from the document library and relocate it to Content Manager. This results in there being no evidence in the SharePoint document library that the document ever existed. The electronic file is transferred to Content Manager. Now the Relocate can also be done if a document has been previously managed or finalised beforehand. However, you can do a relocate in one action if you wish. And finally, we have Archive. This is a combination of the Manage, the Finalize and the Relocate done in one action. With the Manage, it will create the stub of the document in Content Manager. It will finalize the document in Content Manager, making it read-only. Then it will relocate the electronic file from the SharePoint document library into Content Manager. There is no evidence in the SharePoint document library that this document did exist. And that electronic file is transferred at the time of archival. Now back in our SharePoint document library, the document library I'm going to be using here has been configured with the Content Manager SharePoint integration. This particular library has been configured for Manage. Now what happens when a user adds a document into the document library? Content Manager will automatically manage the document. So I'm just using the drag and drop method here. The document will upload and appear in the list. We wait. How do I know this document will be managed? Well, I have the record number column on display here. When it becomes managed, the record number will appear in the column. Another way you can get your document into the document library is you can save it directly from Office. In this example, I'll use Word. And you just save the document as you normally would. I have a link to the document library already saved in my pinned area. Give your document a name. And save it. You will be asked for the content type. This is standard SharePoint feature here. Select the content type and click OK. The document will save. Now that it's saved, as you can see, it's come up with a little uh, tip there for browsing version history. I'll just close my document. I will refresh my screen and the document will appear in the document library. And once again, we now wait. And as you can see, the documents have been managed by Content Manager as a record number has been allocated. Now the end user can still edit these documents as per normal. And when you go back into the document library, I just refresh the screen, you will get a new version or minor version for your document. Another example of how the integration can work for the end users is in this document library here, the users have decided that they will manage the documents themselves when they are ready. And to do this, I'll just drag and drop a document into the document library and wait for it to upload. Once 
once the document has been loaded into the document library, make sure the metadata has been completed and the document is checked in. Once you have checked all those details, you go up to the manage bar here and as you can see it says manage with content manager. You just select it. It will take you to another screen to give you some further information on what might happen with this document in content manager. As you can see on the screen there, the item's currently not managed with Content Manager, which is what we were expecting. It's telling me what record type it is going to use. There could be some other information here on what folder it may save into or container it'll save into in Content Manager based on the settings in the integration. And we just click OK. It will then give you a management confirmation screen. From here, as an end user, you can have a look at the queued job and it may not give you any information. And you can look at the pending jobs by clicking here as well. But if you're an end user, you can just go back to the document library and do what you need to do. When the integration job has processed, a record number will be allocated to this particular document. After a refresh of the screen, you will notice that the record number has been allocated to the document and is now displayed in the document library. One last example I will show you in this video is you can actually set up the integration with Content Manager to be active based on changing a value in a field. Now in this particular document library here, it has been configured so when I am ready to finalise my documentation, all I do is I change that finalise column from a no to a yes. And now to do this, I'll just upload a document. My document has been uploaded. Just double check the metadata. Every SharePoint environment is different, so you may need to update some information in your document or the metadata. Just going to check this document back in. Now this particular document here is now available for everyone to use and update and collaborate on. When I am finished with this particular document here, and this will all depend on how your document library is configured. Mine has a manual checkout configured into it. I will check out the document. I am going to update the metadata on that document to change the finalise from a no to a yes. Just click in another field to double check that has saved and it has. Close my information panel. Just going to check my document back in. Just waiting. The document has now been checked in. When the job runs for this particular document, the record number will be allocated to it. After a quick screen refresh, you'll see that the record number has been allocated to the document and it's now managed by Content Manager. Another feature of the Content Manager SharePoint integration is the ability to expose existing Content Manager documents into a SharePoint document library, even though they have never been in a document library before. I'll just go to my document library I'm going to use. This particular document library has been configured in the classic SharePoint view. Now the reason it is done like that, it gives the content manager administrators the ability to access the integration to configure the exposure, which is just in the library ribbon under content manager and expose content manager records. The record search is just a string search from content manager. Once you have entered your information, you pick what type of rendition and what content type you would like the exposure options to be, and then you save the information. Once that information has saved, you are returned to the document library where you just need to wait for the job to be processed and those documents to be exposed. Now, the documents that are to be exposed are the ones you see on the screen here. Container number 19 slash 11. So there should be a three additional documents that will eventually appear in our document library. We just need to wait for the job to process. 
Now after a screen refresh, those documents we were waiting to be exposed have now been exposed. And to confirm which documents they were, I'll just bring up Content Manager. And as you can see, D19 slash 19, D19 slash 20, and D19 slash 21. And as you can see, they are there in the document library. Now these documents in this document library that have been exposed can be edited by users. However, they do need to be manually checked out first. This is part of the rules of the integration. So I will check my document out. Once it has been checked out, I will proceed to do an edit just by clicking on the title of the document. Just add in a bit of a bold there. Wait for it to save. I just go back to the document library. Once you return to the document library and you have finished your edits, you will just need to manually check it back in. Now this is all basic SharePoint functionality here. Now my document's checked back in. What will actually happen is those changes I've made to that particular document there will be reflected in Content Manager when you actually do a preview of that document. And as you can see there, the updated has been bolded. So it is very, very useful if you do have Content Manager documents you do need to expose and be available in SharePoint, you can use that exposure feature to actually do that. That is some of the features of the Content Manager SharePoint integration. There are many more. I will put together another few videos on the integration to show you some more of those features. But for now, have a lovely day and see you later.